My beloved child, I speak to you today to assure you that I have not forgotten you. I know the enemy has come against you, attempting to destroy your dreams, crush your spirit, and even take some of you out physically. But fear not, for I have overcome the world and all its tribulations. You are entering a season of great abundance that I have ordained specifically for you. I call it the year of abundance, a time for my precious ones to strike gold, both spiritually and physically. The past seasons have refined you, taking you through the furnace of trials to purify your heart and character. You have emerged as 24 karat gold, prepared and positioned to receive all that I have in store. In the past, it seemed as though blessing and breakthrough would never come. So much warfare, thirst, and lack. But beloved, that season is over. I am sweeping away the old and establishing the new. The time has come for miracles, signs, wonders, and abundance to overtake you suddenly. I will make everything right for you again. Your prosperity will pour forth so quickly you won't know how to handle it all. Many call themselves by my name, but few have kept their integrity before me. In this season, you will clearly discern those who truly follow me. For I am calling the hearts of all leaders into question. I see all deeds done in secret and will repay all according to their works. But for you, my beloved, a time of hiding and wilderness is ending. The abundance of my spirit and resources will nourish and establish you for all your days. This blessing is not given lightly or for selfish gain. Remember, it was I who brought you out of lack and into plenty. Do not exalt what I give over the giver. Stay ever close to me in devotion, prayer, and praise. For the enemy envies your blessing and will attempt to lure your heart away. My precious treasure, you have suffered and remained faithful through it all. Your purity of heart and perseverance in tribulation have refined you for such a time as this. You are chosen to walk in uncommon blessing as a sign to the world of my abundance and faithfulness to those who endure. I am entrusting you with great wealth, influence, and responsibility in my kingdom. Use it wisely, Live generously, and bring glory to me. For much will be required of those who inherit much. Stay humble, stay hungry, stay devoted to me above all else. I bless you thoroughly so you may be a conduit of blessing to many others. My beloved child, you have my heart. Our fellowship is sweet, our bond secure. I am for you and will lead you into blessings beyond your wildest dreams. The past sorrows seem light compared to the eternal weight of glory before you. Rejoice, for this long-awaited abundance is but a small token of my love for you. I deposit this promise deep in your spirit. The wealth of heaven belongs to you. Take hold of it with faith and thanksgiving. Great prosperity awaits you. Open your arms wide to receive it. I have seen your tears. I have heard your cries. Your days of lack are over. Abundance shall overtake you suddenly. My precious child, I have made you a magnet for miracle provision. Finances will no longer be a burden or hindrance to you. Behold the vast horizon where the processions of abundance approach, one following another in ceaseless succession. Laden camels and donkeys, like vessels of prosperity, I am guiding through gates flung wide into thy life, without pause or end. It shall not dry up or deplete. Soak in this truth. Lack has expired, but my supply is endless. Do not worry yourself about the details. Just trust that what I have spoken shall come to pass. Rest assured I am orchestrating it all behind the scenes. You need only thank me in faith that it is accomplished for my promises are yes and amen. I am sending abundance from all sides through multiple streams simultaneously. It will flood every sphere of your life and overflow into the territories around you. 
Pay close attention to the ideas and inspiration that I begin whispering into your spirit. Within their midst, they bear concepts of immeasurable worth and keys of the kingdom to unlock abundance through divine creativity. Ask me for divine connections and supernatural favor to launch new ventures. I am expanding your capacity to generate and manage wealth, training you to fund my kingdom initiatives across the globe. You are stepping into a Joseph calling of prosperity and influence that will nourish multitudes. Do not be intimidated by the magnitude I am entrusting you with. Lean wholly on me as your source and strength. Stay rooted in humility, integrity, and wisdom. Bring tithes and offerings into my storehouse, so you may walk in the fullness of an open heaven over your life. I bless those who honor me with their first fruits. Remember the words of my servant Solomon when I granted him great riches. In all your getting, get wisdom and a hearing ear tuned to my spirit. I am honoring you before men and nations, appointing you to high places of authority for such a time as this. Do not exalt yourself in pride over those I am positioning you to lead. Remain tender, transparent, and approachable as you walk in financial dominion. For my power is perfected in weakness. Judge yourself so you will not be judged. Stay low, stay simple. Let me be glorified, not you or your wealth. The years ahead contain monumental shift both internally and externally. You are maturing into the full stature I have envisioned for you. The financial tidal wave approaching is but the tip. For behold, ancient springs are gushing forth within you, awakening dreams, desires, and destinies long forgotten. I am realigning you with your identity, commission, and unique embodiment of my heart for the world. You shall run with fresh passion, perspective, and blueprint, ones this generation has yet to see. The windows of heaven are open. The wait is over. Abundance is here. My beloved, I want you to envision the word abundance etched across the landscape of your future. Picture it emblazoned upon every dream and desire in your heart. This is the spiritual reality I am knitting into the fabric of your tomorrow. I am orchestrating a complete overhaul of your existence, breaking limitations, rewiring thinking, transforming mindsets. You are in the potter's house being reshaped for abundant living. Do not resist my hands as they mold you to contain more of my fullness. The criteria for this upgrade is simply yieldedness. Financial increase is merely one vertical of the blessing tower I am constructing in and through you. Yes, there shall be more than enough provision for every God-breathed endeavor. But more so, be prepared for greater measures of my spirit, sensitivity to my voice, receiving visions and revelations that unlock miracles, and operating in kingdom authority to push back darkness. And now it is time for a mighty awakening unlike anything you have walked in before. Abundance is the supernatural realm becoming natural for you. Heaven's resources have been allocated for such a time as this. I am igniting divine connections, partnerships, and friendships that shall thrust you light years ahead into your glorious future. Listen for my instructions regarding these relationships. Protect unity at all costs. Nurture these bonds in love, humility, and wisdom. For together, you shall do far greater exploits than the sum total of your parts. You need each other to become who I am making you. Pride will only abort what I am birthing between you. Cultivate a culture of honor in your inner circle. Abundance is not a plateau you ascend unto, but a ladder you climb with me progressively. There is no arrival point in eternity. Your continual growth and maturation will forever unlock new realms in me. With each stage, greater access and responsibility. The key is stewarding well what I entrust you with presently, so I may increase your allotment in the future. 
Foundations precede promotions. Remain faithful with the little before desiring much. One cannot contain what one has yet to steward. As I open your eyes to the extravagant possibilities before you, take care that your gaze remains fixed first upon me and my kingdom. Seek not abundance for acclaim, security, or selfish ambition, but rather to supernaturally finance your participation in what I am doing across the nations in this hour. I am raising up launch pads, not luxury pads. Kingdom influencers who count the cost and joyfully pay any price to see my will established on earth as it is in heaven. Now rise up boldly and begin to decree my kingdom promises into the atmosphere around you. Declare the word of the Lord as you step into this unprecedented realm of supernatural abundance I am leading you into in this hour. Call those things that be not as though they already are, and watch them materialize. I am multiplying power to your words as you boldly prophesy my truth over your life. Abundance has kissed your life. Overflow now awaits you. My child, this year shall be great and miraculous for you. Open your ears to hear my voice. For too long have you wandered in darkness, struggling under the weight of trial after trial. But no more will you walk alone. The time has come for me to lead you into the light. Come to me now with open arms, ready to receive all that I have in store for you. Allow me to whisper my plans into your spirit. Listen closely and write them upon your heart. First and foremost, I shall provide land for you to call your own fertile soil where you may plant seeds and watch them grow tall. New territory for you to explore and make your home. If you have never known a permanent resting place, I will give that gift to you this year. Rejoice, for you shall inherit the land I swore to your ancestors long ago. Second, the financial burdens weighing heavy on your back will vanish. No more fretting over debts that drain your joy for I am remitting every last penny that you owe. I will wipe your slate clean and give you a fresh start. You will be free from money struggles so that you can live abundantly. Now is the time for instant miracles. As you walk along your path, expect to be healed and delivered suddenly. For I am the God who parts seas in an instant, who makes bitter water sweet in but a moment. My power is limited only by the boundaries of your faith. Expand your capacity to receive and I will fill it to overflowing. For you see, I choose the less fortunate of this world to be vessels of my glory. Those others disregard, I elevate for my divine purposes. That is why I selected you, my beloved one. Because with me, the least shall become the greatest, the last shall be first. The forgotten will be remembered and the abandoned will find home in my everlasting arms. So come now to the waters of renewal and receive spiritual sight. Allow me to refresh you and open your eyes to the destiny I have prepared. Dip yourself in my word and be cleansed by its transforming power, for it shall unlock miracles instant and abundant. This year a shift shall happen suddenly. One moment barrenness and lack the next overflowing provision, one second darkness and despair, the next second joy everlasting. In the blink of an eye, I will turn tragedy into triumph, sickness into healing, weeping into dancing. You need only believe and align yourself with my plans. Position yourself to receive this vision. Plant seeds of faith into good soil through prayer and petition. Ask largely and stand unwaveringly on my promises. Do not limit what I can do, for my power knows no bounds. The clock has already begun counting down to your miracle hour. It is nearer than you dare imagine. For you see, a special anointing rests upon the coming days. Heaven's angel armies have been dispatched to clear your path and make way for blessing untold. The stars and planets are aligning over your destiny, my dear child. For this is your moment. 
This is your year to transcend and take hold of everything I have spoken over your life. The world around may seem dark and ominous, but have no fear. For when you belong to me, you have supernatural protection against all plagues and calamities. You are covered from every assault of the enemy because my blood flows in your veins. Therefore, you will endure and overcome. Soon my glory shall be seen upon you, and you will be a shining example of my goodness in a fallen generation. For I am raising up my faithful ones in this hour, promoting my humble children to places of influence and honor. I am opening doors that seemed locked shut and impossible to all who behold. I am taking my sons and daughters from the back and thrusting them to the forefront, from the margins to the mainstream, from poverty to plenty, from obscurity into the limelight. For the last shall be first, and the meek shall inherit every promise I have uttered. You are living in an age of acceleration. No longer will my people wait decades to see prayers fulfilled. The time of culmination is here. What once took years to come to pass will now happen almost instantly, for I am a God who specializes in the sudden. I make a way instantly where there seems to be no way. I part seas in a blink. Water turns to wine in moments. The dead are raised by my sharp word. Blind eyes healed on a whim. For all of creation bows before my awesome might. There exists no problem I cannot solve, no sickness I cannot cure, no pain I cannot soothe, no dream I cannot fulfill, no vision I cannot bring into being. I crafted you, intricately and purposefully, inside your mother's womb. How much more will I tend to the cry of your heart and give you the desires of your soul? For I take pleasure in prospering you, my beloved one. It brings me joy to reveal my love through blessing you. So come rest in my goodness this year. Set aside anxiety, for I have only plans to help you and give you a future filled with hope. The tide is turning, my child. Your season of lack and famine has come to an end. Your harvest of joy is here. Rejoice, for I make all things beautiful in my timing. The miracles you've been praying for steal your heart to receive them. Brace yourself for sudden manifestations of glory and power on your behalf. For I am breaking the chains that have held you back. I am tearing down walls. I am silencing voices of condemnation and lies. This year you will hear my song of affirming love drown out all other noises. I am making your life a showcase of my grace and redemption, a living testimony of my extravagant favors. You will not be able to contain your wonder and awe at how I bless you, for my storehouses are bursting with abundant harvest reserved just for you. Let your expectation ascend to the heavens, for I shall meet and exceed it. Ask me for the seemingly impossible, then stand back and watch me split the sea once more. All to shower my beloved with blessing upon blessing, until you are saturated with my goodness and overwhelmed by my furious love. For I am gathering my children now to tell them secrets, calling them into my chambers to reveal mysteries of my kingdom. Position yourself with pen in hand to document all I decree over your destiny. Write it plainly so you may run upon this vision. Refer back to it when discouragement creeps in. Let it be your battle cry when opposition arises. For I am entrusting you with divine assignments meant to reflect my light into a darkened world. So steel your spine, beloved child. Gird up your loins and set your face with holy determination. The time for preparation and separation is over. The hour of manifestation has come. Don't shrink back timidly any longer. No more hiding your lamp beneath a basket. I am catapulting you from the shadows into the limelight, from the back row to front and center stage. For this is your era to shine bright and blaze a trail aglow with my majesty. For you are walking in step with my spirit now. You have surrendered self fully to my flow and purposes. 
my dreams and yours, no longer separate but the same shared vision. Marvels follow you automatically without effort or intention. For wonders chase after those who chase after me with unveiled face and wholehearted devotion. I am remapping your destiny's road in this instant, blazing new trails to catapult you light years down the path of your calling. Forget what once was. The former versions of you are but distant memories gathering dust, never to be accessed again. For I am doing a new thing in and through you. I am redefining your identity from victim to victor, from stagnant to unstoppable, from fearful to courageous trailblazer. So watch now as I accelerate your breakthrough. No more circling that stubborn mountain forty years. No more wrestling with inner demons draining you in the night's dead hours. The Prince of Darkness has lost his hold upon you. The Lion of Judah staked claim to your soul once and for all. My roar sends all other pitiful contenders scattering back to the underworld they crawled from. For you have been blood-bought. Death holds no victory. The grave lost all sting. Decay cannot corrode your vibrant spirit, made immortal by my indestructible life. Go now with renewed passion. Hope alight once more within. Lift up your head and behold the King making all things beautiful again. The storm has broken at last. Rays of my light peek through once ominous clouds. The harvest fields are white and ready for you to reap abundantly. No more barrenness of soul or dead dreams or dashed hopes. For this is the dawning of your redemption day, where all promises find fulfillment at long last, where my goodness and mercy shall chase you down relentlessly. As my precious one, truly you will lack nothing good or right or delightful this year. For I am opening heaven's storehouses reserved for this climatic age. And you, my beloved, will be first in line to receive angels' assistance and bountiful blessings. For I have searched far and wide, I have tested and refined, and proven you faithful, a precious gem reflecting my nature, even under fire's strains. This year your reward comes full circle. My beloved child, know that I am always with you guiding your steps and illuminating your path. Trust in my timing, for I am orchestrating every detail of your life with perfect precision. Even when the way seems unclear or the journey arduous, remember that I am working all things together for your good and my glory. In this season I am calling you to a deeper level of intimacy with me. Carve out time each day to sit in my presence soaking in my love and listening for my still, small voice. As you draw near to me, I will draw near to you, revealing the hidden treasures of my heart and the secrets of my kingdom. I am opening doors of opportunity that no man can shut, positioning you for favor and influence in high places. Do not be intimidated by the magnitude of the assignments I am entrusting you with, for I have equipped you with every spiritual gift and resource needed to fulfill your destiny. Step out in bold faith, knowing that I am with you, empowering you to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all you could ask or imagine. As you navigate the challenges and uncertainties of this world, keep your eyes fixed on me, the author and finisher of your faith. I am your anchor in the storm, your refuge in the midst of trouble, when the enemy comes in like a flood, I will raise up a standard against him, protecting you from every attack and snare. I am releasing a fresh anointing upon your life, empowering you to walk in signs, wonders, and miracles. Expect the unexpected, for I am a God of surprises, delighting in exceeding your expectations and answering your prayers in ways you never thought possible. Rest in the assurance of my unfailing love, for nothing can separate you from my presence or pluck you from my hand. I have engraved you on the palms of my hands, and your name is written in the Lamb's Book of Life. You are mine forever, a cherished member of my eternal family. As you step into this new season, know that I am going before you, preparing the way and making crooked paths straight. 
I am breaking off every chain, removing every obstacle, and leveling every mountain that stands in your way. Trust in my perfect plan, for I am leading you into a spacious place, a land flowing with milk and honey. Above all, remember that my love for you is unconditional, unshakable, and everlasting. I delight in you, rejoice over you with singing, and surround you with my tender mercies. You are the object of my affection, the recipient of my grace, and the heir of my kingdom. So go forth with confidence, knowing that I am with you always, even to the end of the age. I will never leave you nor forsake you, and my goodness and mercy will follow you all the days of your life. Trust in my timing, lean on my strength, and embrace the abundant life I have prepared for you. For I am doing a new thing, making a way in the wilderness and streams in the wasteland. Get ready to experience my favor, provision, and supernatural power like never before. Well done, my good and faithful one. Well done, my child. Now your adventure begins. Amen.